right, coming up next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot spin from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, it's always exciting when you have such a high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. This man has been a master of the submission in the UFC, and even though a lot of people know what's coming, more often than not, they're unable to stop. Because the knowledge, the knowledge of the jiu-jitsu game is truly something that it's hard to replicate when a guy is as good as he is. I mean, he will jump for a triangle. He will jump for an arm bar. And as you slam him to the ground, he starts to understand, OK, I'm right where I need you right now. This is when the game starts for him. If he doesn't secure that submission, he gets you where he needs you to be in order to start to really make you drown. It's like going in deep water oh. and getting pulled down over and over again because every time you think, if I do this, it'll make it better, it just makes it worse. And best of luck trying to find a training partner to simulate this guy in the gym. It can't happen, and it won't happen. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 183 pounds. Fighting out of Manaus, Arizona, Brazil, Jumbo. And now his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, Monster. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon is Herb Dean. Herb Dean, third man in the Octagon for this one. Ready. All right, folks, here we go with round one. This is not the Eddie Bravo Invitational. This is the UFC and two of the more decorated Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belts we have in this or any division. Going yes, on. in any division. We've never seen guys that can really incorporate the Jiu-Jitsu into fighting as we've seen this two do. But who's going to make a mistake? Who's going to leave an arm out there to get grabbed? Who's going to leave their neck out? Let's see when you put two great jiu-jitsu players together, who can get their hand raised in the octagon. Right hand on point. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, single collar tie here. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. And he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. And that left hook landed on the button. Oh, big knee there. An uppercut landed. Strong hook lands. Just missed with the elbow there. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. I think he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. If you're 
your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back and oh. strong. Somehow, his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Left hook, right hand. Oh! <laughs> Trying to hammer that lead leg. Limp there, his leg hurting for certain. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Look at him chop the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Ten seconds now in round one. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think he'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. Punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Nice leg kick. Set up that head kick, no good. Whoa. That is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Nice punch there. Hooks to the body now. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 43 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by Knockout Monster. Oh, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by Knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out for him. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.